Then he went to Tarsus to search for soul And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch For a whole year, they met with the church and taught large numbers The disciples were first called Christians at Antioch, Antioch. 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 As they were worshiping the Lord and fasting The Holy Spirit said, set apart for me, Barnabas and Saul For the work to which I have called them Then after they had fasted, prayed, and laid hands on them They sent them off so being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus, arriving in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. They also had John as their assistant when they had traveled the whole island as far as Paphos. They came across a sorcerer, a Jewish false prophet named Bar-Jesus. He was with the proconsul, Sergius Paulus, an intelligent man. This man summoned Barnabas and Saul and wanted to hear the word of God, but Elimus the sorcerer, that is the meaning of his name Opposed them and tried to turn the proconsul away from the faith But Saul, also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit Stared straight at Elimus and said You are full of all kinds of deceit and trickery You son of the devil, an enemy of all that is right Won't you ever stop perverting the straight paths of the Lord? Now look, the Lord's hand is against you You are going to be blind and will not see the sun for a time Immediately a mist and darkness fell on him, and he went around seeking someone to lead him by the hand. Then, when he saw what happened, the Philpon so believed, because he was astonished at the teaching of the Lord. <laughs>